Help a brother out. Nice work out there. The well could be a lot. Take your time and gear up. No telling what that remnant's going to unleash. Oh my god, the end of the road. What does that chapter mean? Oh no, chat, are we nearly done with this game? Oh no, I don't want, I don't want to be. Hey driver, I sent you something, if you don't <laughs> mind taking a look. Hey Rusty, what's going on friend? need two electricians kits oh sure I get that but there's just a part of me that's like oh no like I, I can feel the beginning of the end when when the when the story's done <laughs> and that bums me out Radiation everywhere, but no explanation as to the source. Source, how is this possible, and how am I unharmed after such a high dose? Who's to say? It's a mystery. Hey, Casper, thank you so much. I got it cleaned up about a week ago. I can always tell when I start looking like Jack Black. That it's time to get things cleaned up. A lot of weird noises coming out of the coming out of the woods near the shop. When you start trying when you start looking like uh, blackjack, it's time to leave the casino. Yeah, I got I get this weird this weird look that's like a combination of Jack Black and Walt Whitman, and whenever that happens, I know that I'm I'm good to get the hell out of there. Oh yeah, Jade Stone, I like my Steam Deck. Uh, I I I don't find as many opportunities to play with it as I would like. But it's almost like because I I forget that I have it. I also haven't gone on a long trip since I've gotten it, so I've not had the opportunity to take it with me on a plane. But I feel like it's really just a matter of time before that happens. Gotta get a new turbine. Do I have another turbine? I might. I don't think I... Well, I might. Wait, was that it? Yeah, a little mini turbine. It's a quirky one. I don't know what that I don't know exactly what that is gonna mean for us. Peculiar. Maybe that just means it can't be can be mended. I don't think we need to go through the whole rigmarole of like healing everything. I think we just use a blowtorch and call it good. It won't take very long. We'll free up some space. We kept finding so many healing hearts. That our, our car didn't really take that much damage on the road. Thought I had a second one. Oh, I have several. That's why we kept going back into the zone to get them. It turned out so well. Ah, you know what? The tires take a lot. I'll use... I've got so much putty. Oh, man. My roof storage is broken. Worn. Well, if that means that shit's gonna fall out. Um... Be sure to check the tube before heading out. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd hate to make that mistake again. That was 
really unfortunate. And we're gonna have to empty our... We're gonna have to empty our roof rack. Some of this goes in here. Those don't stack. I have so much healing shit. That's fine. I'm, I'd rather need it. I'd rather have it not need it than need it not have it. Alright, then that means... Messing with me. New roof rack. We can afford to put some stuff in there for sure. There might be things that we can build now that we have enough uh, energy. I'll go ahead and take a look. We finally scanned a shaggy scrambler, which means we can make, if nothing else, we can make armored bumpers. What was my trunk space one? Corrupted energy. It's like the one thing I didn't find while I was out there, which is a real bummer. Armored bumpers wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Anti-static gloves. Yeah, sure. Let's make the armored bumpers. Is there anything I was missing here? Oh, yeah. Corrupted energy. I don't really care. Do I care? What does that mean, charge faster? You know? I have so much energy, though, I might as well make it. Uh, what do I need? Two circuit boards? No big deal. I don't understand how it can charge any faster, but whatever. Hmm. That's corrupted energy, that's corrupted energy. That's a circuit board. Whatever, let's do that. Like, what else do we have to spend? Let's do two, two more circuit boards. Oh, no shit. I didn't realize that, hamster. That makes that most, makes more sense. I guess I just don't have a hyper-juiced-up uh, battery right now. There was a part of me I was just like, I don't understand like how it could possibly charge better. That makes sense, though. That makes sense. Gives us a better reason to be right here, I guess. Not that we have all that many more parts, but I guess as we keep building out, like, 
Olympium parts and armored parts. We're just going to have extra pieces. I think the blackout in the shop might be a hair shorter as well, but not positive. That's fair. I was just, yeah, I was curious. I was like, I don't understand how this could be, like, better. It already does it all in one pass. Corrupted energy, corrupted energy. I don't want to spend my corrupted energy on another parts locker, you know? And then let's go ahead and make armored bumpers, I guess. Well, an armored bumper. Because it's really just the back one. And then this bad boy can go in the parts locker. Whew! That is a beast. A beast, I tells you. Tobias's favorite cryptid of them all. If it's not too much to ask, uh, if you could put it on your dashboard. So Tobias can come along for the ride, for wherever you're going. Uh, but don't feel obligated by any means. There you go. <sighs> Sorry, Francis. I'll do what I can. Oh, buddy. I hate it. Um... I don't think there was anything else I wanted to make. I feel generally pretty good about the rest of it. Alright, well, let's figure out what our path is. Chat, do I dare? Do I dare just push to this zone and we'll just do it? We'll just do it one zone at a time? And we'll try, we'll, like, I maybe, I maybe won't be so much a loot goblin, like, here in the heavy fog. <laughs> but I might be a loot goblin. Well, I'd have to reroll this area. Boy, all these zones suck. But I, that is the way we get there. I can take the highway. B1. How do I do that? I don't feel like that's ever been... I, like Folks in chat have tried to explain the highways to me. F1 to B1. Yeah, none of these are lit up for me. I've only seen this happen twice, and it was by accident. I've never really understood how the highway system works. Like, I can't click on it. Like, do I just click on this one and then go this way until I hit F1 or B1? Or, like, do I go, like, do I click this and then go E6, C3, B1, A5? Like, I feel like this wasn't adequately explained in any sort of tutorial. Gotcha. So scan this zone. And then, and then it opens up. Okay. I've never understood the mechanics of that. I get it now. I get it now. Which one of these looks the worst? This one doesn't seem bad, but... So are we just, are, are we just identifying to it that we want to go... I can't click it, but... Yeah, as I say, do I just go, go to C3 from, from E6? Should 
fuel evaporation seems terrible. Like, of all the terrible shit in here, fuel, fuel evaporation seems the worst. So when I travel, I go E6, C3, B1, or maybe. I guess we'll see. When you get to the edge of leaving the zone, you click where you want to go. You can skip E6 by clicking on C3 instead of E6 when leaving E6. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we leave E6, we hit C3. C3 takes us to B1. I won't click it. No, no, no. We'll go, we'll go to E6 almost by default when we leave. You can just click B1 right away. Skip E6 altogether. Okay. I'm going to re-roll... Can I re-roll this? Acid devours fuel. That's way better than what it was before. I mean, like, not that we were going to be there for very long, but whatever. Okay, I get it. I get it now. I didn't get it before, but I get it now. Hello? Oh, the car's not on. Shut up, chat. Whee! I do feel like that's one of the only things that, yeah, like, it's happened to me, and I've used it, but I've used it on accident. I will be bummed out, though. Like, don't tell me, but, like, I will be bummed out if this is the end of the road, so to speak. I can go to F1. It will not let me go to C3. And it will not let me go to B1. No, I don't have the node skipper upgrade. So I guess F1. And we'll just skirt around the outside. All right. I'm going to dial myself in and we'll do what we can to I got God help me. I, I don't want to finish the game, but if I finish the game, I guess we accept that our time with Pacific Drive is at some point it's got to come to an end, but I don't want it to. You abandoned happy one time. Hi Lisa, sorry. I'm I'm I am accepting backseat gaming graciously because it is quality of life stuff. But you know me, I get so like uptight whenever I'm in a situation where like people are, it, again, with my permission this time, fe feeding me information. Because I'm always worried, especially at the point in time where I'm so close to the end of a game that I've loved. Like really, I've loved this game. This game is so much fun. Um, I can feel myself being in like an emotionally charged place. And I'm trying to make sure that I manage that well. Well, there's just nothing out here. Oh yeah, I was a I was a sassy little bitch in announcements for sure. I, I was I've, I've been a I've been a sassy kid for the last I don't know like the last 12 hours or so. I've been sassy McSassy pants. Ooh, I, I almost drove right by that. Future stylings. Oh, man. All right, stay here. You're doing great. Again, Chad, if you want to help keep the lights on uh, and you don't mind giving me a few minutes of your time, Warpath, exclamation point, Warpath is the mobile game that uh, is sponsoring us this week. Um, long story short, all that stuff up there, if a hundred people were to do that, it'd be an extra thousand dollars in my pocket. And that means everything right now. When we were talking about it earlier that I fucking hate this song, dude. Drive downhill fast. Change the channel. Um, 
that means everything to me right now when times are tough and everybody's getting shitty information from their jobs and everybody's employers are either course correcting from the pandemic and, and ratcheting back pay or uh, are just greedy, which apparently is the other thing that people are running into. Ooh. That stung. Yeah, that is... I don't have an impact hammer. Not that I really care, but... Hello? Being pushy about it. I don't think I don't think I see oh, I don't think I see myself scrapping too much on this on this run. I'm kind, I, I I can smell the end game. Uh, I can smell the end game. And as much as I don't want it to end, I also want to know what happens. I'll be bummed out if we don't find Noah during our time in this game. Well, there is nothing off the road here. Yeah, maybe I should make a whole bunch of really legally dodgy statements in game and see if I can summon the lawyer bobblehead to the forefront. Gravity of the situation, shocking speed, and swift storm. Again, another place where I'll probably not linger too terribly much. There's a lot of negative stuff going on here. More than anything, I just don't want to get caught with my pants down. Not that the storms have been particularly bad of late. I don't see anything super useful. Fuel truck. We, I mean, we're making pretty decent time. I don't see me... I missed my turn. I don't see me doing a whole lot of looting on this run. Oh, I didn't miss my turn. I needed to be up here. Well, damn. If the stuff I'm looking at is not, like, in front of me, then I guess I'm not going for it. I'll grab anchors that are on the way. But I think that's about it. Especially in these early zones. I could be baited into stopping for things like uh, thermostat well, crystals. Story of the newest be it cool, I gotta read it. Cave. Tier 1, 72 months. I can't believe it's been 72 months. Kind of crazy considering that number is also equal to the total mass and metric tons of your massive hammer hanging between your legs can achieve. Hope you have a great day, Taffy. Remember to use that third leg of yours wisely. It can kill a man. Not since the late 1990s, all right? That's about to be expunged for my record. Thank you very much. Viet Fool, thank you so much for the message. Uh, thank you for Jiminy Christmas. 72 months, dude. It just feels absurd. 
I appreciate your support. Oh, it's just normal ass. Are you guys gonna be stupid? There we go. They were they were stupid, as it turns out. Although I have found that the storm's not nearly as bad as I make it out to be. Ooh. Ooh, I am. Apparently when you're electrified in this zone, you are a speedy boy. It's the only zone, or it's the only way out of the zone, so I must be going the right way. That's kind of what I'm noticing too, is that yellow, not so bad. Yellow, not so bad, but uh, red, super duper bad. I'm also realizing that because I don't have an impact hammer, I can't get like thermosap crystal or Olympium shards, which I do kind of feel like just means that I'm running to the end of the running to the end of this as fast as I can. Acid devours fuel. It's hard being creative after so long. Shit, you don't have to sell me on it, man. I swear to God, I feel like I haven't said an original thing on this channel in like five years. This is not for lack of desire. That tree candy? I don't know that I need tree candy right now. Ah. All right, hold on. Sometimes I feel like my right click doesn't work. Good grief. I guess I'll be making a couple trips. Oh, it's just the... Thank God, it's just the ground. Probably put that in there too, and this. I don't need either of these taking up room. Also, I'm still just holding duct tape. I love that. Gotta harness that Justin Himbo energy that gives you things like Grapa or Grappa. When you guys throw something at me, or oh, that probably came out of them exploding. I was like, damn, I didn't think I left any survivors, but here we are. Grappa and Oral Tordium. I do love Justin. I know he's a smart person. But sometimes he makes that hard to defend with his big himbo energy. He leans into it. Good for him. It works for him. But damn. Every once in a blue moon, my man says stuff that I'm just like, I know you're smart. I can't remember what it was the other day. Uh... I can't remember what, like, movie he was trying to describe playing one of his Wordle segments. But it was just one of those things where, like, oh, he was talking about the movie Hackers. And the description of the movie Deadass was saying, like, these hackers, like, serial killer and acid cool or zero cool, featuring Angelina Jolie and Johnny Lee Miller. And he's like, God, it sounds like hackers, but that's not it. And I was like, what are you talking about? It sounds like, well, I don't, I don't remember Angelina Jolie being in Hackers. And I was like, how do you not? This is the only thing to remember about that movie is that Angelina Jolie was in Hackers. It's the only thing. That and Matthew Lillard playing Serial Killer, one of the greatest named characters of any movie ever. Uh, a floppy disk is a gear shifter. That goes in there. 
all that stuff comes out. I just want that stuff to be safe. Everything about her in that movie, like, it, listen, it was not as big a sexual awakening as, like, the mummy. But, I mean, it's on the metal podium, you know? I won't sit here and bullshit you and tell you that, it, you know, it's carrying the same heft as peak Rachel Weisz and uh, Brandon Fraser. But it registers, you know? I wanted to be wanted the way people wanted Johnny Lee Miller, and I wanted women like Angelina Jolie at 20 or 21 years old to talk to me. Brandon Fraser got you too. I, I, I remember going to that movie. There have been two movies that I can recall in my life, Ollie Queen, where I've gone to the movie and thought to myself, this is so stupid, and there's no possible way I'm going to enjoy it. And number one was The Mummy, where I was like, look at this stupid bootleg Indiana Jones bullshit. You ain't no Harrison Ford. You're Wish.com Harrison Ford when Wish.com gets founded in 25 years. You're We Have Harrison Ford at Home. And then I finished The Mummy, and I was like, Damn it, that was excellent, and everybody in this movie's hot. And everyone says Benny's not hot, but I bet you if I looked him up, I bet you the actor who played Benny actually hot, and they just had to scum him up a little bit. I'm looking it up now. The mummy. I bet you he's a smoker. I bet I like I bet you he's a fucking smoke show. That took me to the mummy returns, which is not quite the same. There it is. Yeah, I was 19 when this movie came out. That was the absolute right or wrong time to hit me with it, depending on how you feel. Kevin J. O'Connor. Yeah, in like a lab rat, nerdy scientist, probably plays the drug dealer a lot sort of way. But anyway, the other one was A Knight's Tale. I didn't realize it was a musical going in. And I felt a little duped. I felt a little duped. There we go. And I, I watched the whole thing and I was like, I didn't know who Heath Ledger was. I didn't know who Heath Ledger was. I didn't know what kind of business he was bringing to the table. I was like, this goofy ass movie, and now I watch it again and I'm like, I would go to war with Yorick von Lichtenstein, or Ulrich von Lichtenstein. And I'd certainly go to war with Paul Bettany. I want that. But yeah, like I tried to write it off because I was like, oh man, it's a musical. Kinda. It's not really a musical, but it's got all those anachronistic music scenes. Like, and I, again, I tried to get grumpy about their dance scene to David Bowie. Like it was a bad thing. I was a child of the 80s. How dare I? The audacity on this little like 19 year old prick. Oh, I don't like this because it's kind of it's, 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 it's not gladiator. If it's, it's anachronistic, David Bowie, what kind of line dancing bullshit is this? This account is one of the most damning and holds up to the best of my verification. Efforts. I was wrong. She's told that story many times and hadn't changed this story in the ensuing years. Chalk it up to good memory or deeply seated trauma, but it is, as far as I can tell, real. The stories from others, however, inspire a healthy dose of skepticism. Those who weren't too scared of government retaliation were few. And the ones who shared their stories loved their 15 minutes of fame a little too much. Any talk show or gossip rag or cheap date willing to listen heard from these types and made piecing together the zone's true history for someone like this me. cheap date chat, I feel seen. A migraine inducing experience. Because these stories, as every good gossip knows, morphed over time. 
What started as the most powerful lightning storms recorded on Earth turned into UFOs touching down. An innocent spiderweb became something to be avoided on pain of death. A grassy lawn left untended became a feeding ground for something called burp bunnies. The tales became taller as the years went by. And the more I heard, the more my suspension of disbelief left me. And while the Sierra disaster was only one of the many incidents that occurred over the zone's 32-year history, it is the one I return to as a prime example. I don't want those lights. Whatever happened there in Sierra is the type of disaster that caused the creation of the exclusion zone in the first place. We can extrapolate from what little we know of what happened here. If this is the oh. one story to get out, how many more horrors did Lynn technology cause? Nope. Sadly, no. I am under where I want to be right now, but at least I found one of these trucks, which is kind of cool. It had some stuff in it. It wasn't any of the decorative uh, cosmetic stuff that I wanted, but... I'm always happy to see it. How do I climb this hill? Damn, am I gonna accidentally come over here and get this? I guess. I mean, we are here. And then I gotta, I gotta get up on this ridge. I just can't afford to hit any of the acid because we've got acid devours fuel. And this thing's already a gas guzzler. So I gotta kind of go out of my way not to touch any of it. I do have the fuel synthesizer though. That's problematic. Danny, what's going on, friend? Yeah, 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 Night's Tale gets a rewatch for me just one, once in a, once every, oh, once every blue moon, I just gotta watch a Night's Tale. Everybody in that movie is so perfectly cast. I really don't know that I have much use left for the orange energy. The unstable anchors. This is a bad place to be. I should get out of here. Running up that hill. Okay. Actually, let's go that way. I think we're going to do this the right way. Nope. Oh. Fuck your headlights. I think the easiest way to do this is just going to be going on the road the route that it wants us to go. That's radiation, that's not acid. Sorry chat, I hate that I'm low-key ignoring you right now. You know you know I don't like that, but... I feel kind of dialed in until I see what this last story mode's all about. Oh, this is really not gonna help me. I, I gotta, I'm genuinely gonna have to climb, run... I'm genuinely gonna have to run up that hill and make a deal with God. I'm not sure how I was supposed to get up here. Oh, I'd taken the wrong way. I was supposed to go around the long way. These are super bright headlights. I needed them in the tunnel. I don't think I need them now. I can start getting a charge back on my battery. Maybe give a little, little boop scan. on our way out the door. I think for lunch today, chat, unless we're feeling situationally froggy. I think for lunch today, I'm gonna have a very weird medley of a little bit of leftover chicken marsala. And a couple of chili dogs. I don't think they're gonna pair together great. But that's what we have left in the leftovers 
and they both sound equally good for different reasons. Honestly, before I leave the zone, I'm gonna fix up my headlights. Maybe a bumper. I'm gonna fix up my headlights and I'm actually gonna fill up my fuel. Well, maybe not. Maybe when I get to the next zone. Okay, well, if these guys aren't right by the exit... If these guys aren't right by the exit, I'm gonna top off my fuel and set the synthesizer going again. No better time than now. Maybe patch my bumper up. No sense going in all beat up. Um, where are you? I can't believe you've done this, Taffy. Oh, this one's busted up, too. unnerving. I want to do this one. <clears throat> Swift storm, magnified explosions, and anomalous clouds. I might, I might heal up and then again just jet through this area. Hope Grayson's orthodontic work is going well. Speaking of orthodontic work, if anybody'd like to do warp path, it sure would help me pay off his thirty-four hundred dollars worth of orthodontic bills. I would be. I would be in your in your debt. If anybody's feeling uh, altruistic, the other option is just straight up giving me money, which you also don't have to do, but. We only get so many days like that before I have to start entertaining entertaining a career change. So, you know, I'm trying to find a, a happy, happy medium. I will go this way and I will grab these anchors on the way out because it's a straighter shot. But I am not going to, like, risk ourselves in this zone. All right. There's a lot of bullshit going on in this zone, and I want nothing to do, to do with it. I have to fix this. I have to fix this. Uh... Oh, 
This is the stone. I need to be able to keep stuff from attaching to us. Hey. Rusty with a gifted tier one sub to dental plan. I appreciate it. Amber came in and goes, all right, so good news, bad news about the orthodontic work. And I was like, oh man, that's a rough series of words you're throwing around. And she goes, the good news is that like, you know, they're going to knock a little bit of money off. The good news is they're going to knock a little bit of money off uh, because we've worked with them before and they'll knock even more money off if we pay it all up front. And I was like, okay, what's the bad news? And she's like, the bad news is that it starts at six grand. Boy, the roads are really not useful. She goes, it, the, the, what they're charging us is going to start at six grand. But they'll work it down to 3,400. And I was like, oh. Good news, you say, huh? Is there a road? Am I... I got to climb up onto it? I want there to be a road. It's just everything on the road is a huge pain in the ass to traverse right now. Yeah, like, yeah, the roads are essentially impassable. Thanks to all the bullshit on them. Rusty, thank you for the gifty. I have a flat. I just, I don't want to get caught. I don't want to get caught with my pants down. Uh... Matter of fact, I might just keep this on me. They are right here, too. Fritz. Like, I would love to be on the road, but the road does not want me. is going on there we go I, I can't I want yeah don't hit those pillars feels like it would be a bad thing I'm with you in heart and soul, chat. Even if I'm not actively looking at you. Cool. I'm not going back for that pod. Screw it. I can't. I could. I can. No, that road was a nightmare. Why would I actively engage in going back through that? Everything about this has been just a dumpster fire situation. <laughs> like, I want so badly to go back and get that fallen pod, but I don't want to drive back into this this particular zone. 
seems super happy at the prospect of murdering me. Like, maybe I'll go get that... Maybe I'll go get that other, um... Core over there. I'm not mistaken, right? Like, chat, tell me if I'm being a wimp. But discretion's the better part of valor here. I feel like driving back into what we just left behind. I mean, look at all the nonsense that's on the ground here. I can't stay on the road because all the road is just covered with radiation and the little swirling pits and this is not a straightforward drive. This is not, like, none of this is easy. Maybe the other way with the, the curvier road was actually the better, like, the better path, but this one was a straighter shot. It's just who we Rick it was it, it, this has been a gnarly zone stop being a chicken all right well I'll tell you what you hit me up with 50 bucks and I will go back and get that pod we're gonna we're gonna not ever forget our roots and how this game is played and by how this game is played I mean the you know what taffy you should do it oh yeah daddy doesn't work for free how about that See, the way my banking account works, does, is yours fighting, actively fighting against you too? I feel like mine's actively fighting against me. Alright. I, I, I saw Rusty say, oh. I don't know if that means that I should pace myself. So I'm gonna heal here real quick. Look at you, Stanley. Okay. Flaunting your disposable income with that donation to Taffy. You ever say something and before it leaves your mouth, Look you're like, you, ah, I probably shouldn't have said Flaunting that. Flaunting your disposable income with that donation okay. to Taffy. Yeah, that is, chat, that is back where we came in. Oh my God, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. We're gonna go this way, this is a new way. Maybe this way's not such a nightmare, maybe. I did say it though. Oh no, I do need to go this way. We're just gonna go right through the fucking heart of the storm. I did say it. I am curious. I'm not like super disappointed, but I could absolutely see this being why I die on this run because of all this kind of horseshit. It's all hanging out through here. These tire shredding circles and just a sheer volume of tourists through here. But. I'm nothing, uh, I'm nothing without my word, and my word was, uh, daddy does things for money, and here we are. I'm learning I would be, uh, I'd be an excellent sex worker. I'm at least a better than average Twitch streamer, depending on who you ask. I know there are some people who feel real dicey about it. See a button, push a button, see a button, push a button. I have lots of heals. I'm, I'm not terribly good on gas, but... The yellow's not so bad. My only problem is that we just have to go so far back, and this whole area is just so inhospitable. I actually think it was a better call to just drive straight through the bullshit. Because the roads are just a clusterfuck. All right, what did we get? Dude, I swear to God, if Noah's in here, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Noah making money when he's not even here. Uh, we can make multiple trips. We can make multiple trips, and part of you is falling off. Part of you is falling apart. Which part is it? It's this back door. And this headlight. And my personal health. Alright. 
not as great as I had hoped, but still very good. I always get super jazzed about seeing what those things hold. I always assume that if you're driving back against the storm, they're gonna get. Who the fuck is Steve Strawberry? It was two fifty dollar donations. Meat Shield also hit us with fifty dollars. Dental plan. I was almost out. I have a flat. Oh, this is brutal. Uh... Oh, this is fucking brutal. I'm actually kind of low-key underwhelmed with this one. Um... I don't have time for you. Who's in the worst shape? Ooh, you're in the worst shape. We gotta get the fuck out of here. I might have to try to catch some air so I can close this back door. Oh, I have a flat. I hate the song! I should just stay on the road. Chat, I don't have a, I don't have a spare door. I gotta get out of the zone. There we go, Meat Shield and Rusty. I hope you are satisfied with your purchases. I am stressed out. Ugh. Well, there's a third one on the table, chat, if anyone's feeling froggy. I gotta get out of this zone, though. And heal up. I can heal up now.
Not now. Yeah, so there's a third pod down if anyone's feeling particularly froggy. Oh, I gotta fix the limb emitter. Fair King, what's going on, friend? I'm almost out. Chilling at the office, wish it was go home time. I thought today was Wednesday and I'm bummed out that it's not. I can't. Oh, I can't fix it. That's right. That just is until it isn't. All right, chat. Last chance saloon. There is one more, there's one more downed pod. We are running out of time to go get it, if anybody is feeling froggy. That'll be going against the literal storm, that'll be a bit much. But 50 bucks is 50 bucks. Oh, you know what? I wanted this one. I wish it was Wednesday I get to go on vacation tomorrow. Oh. Come on. Ah, oh, this one's fast. This one's way fast. Alright, I'm out of here. We did two out of three ain't bad. But that zone's about to collapse completely. Thank you, Meat Shield. Thank you, Rusty. And thank you to whomever uh, got to Ops 110. I sure appreciate that. Perpetual stability, you say? Sounds delightful. Let's kind of take inventory here. Came out of that in halfway decent shape, if I'm being real. All things equal. I was a little touch and go in spots, but we got there. Yeah, Tobias died, getting us from, uh, Tobias died basically helping us uh, gather the energy necessary to keep pushing deeper into the zone. Tobias and Francis exchanged a, um... Tobias and Francis, Francis exchanged a, um... A vow of love for one another. And it was genuinely heartbreaking. And I gotta be honest, at one point I was like, I'm gonna clip that, and I was like, you know what? No, I don't need to clip that bad. I'd feel miserable if I spoiled that for somebody online who wasn't like in watching the game. You know what I mean? If you're in here watching the game, it's one thing. Francis. Yeah. Thank you for trusting me. When you had every reason not to. Getting to this point together with you, it makes me feel like my old self again. 
It's been an honor to watch you work, Dr. Turner. Yeah, if people are in here hanging out specifically to see how this game goes, then I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to spoil it for you. You know what I mean? But like, uh, you're here watching it. If you just happen across my social media feeds and I spoiled this for you, I'd feel like a, I'd feel like a right prick. So, I clipped it, but I chose not to do anything with it. Because honestly, I didn't know that was going to happen. Are they real? And it broke my heart. Begin to guess what could be outputting this much radiation. Some sort of energy reservoir, a massive fission reaction, or a, a portal. Atlantis. <laughs> if this thing really leads us to Atlantis, I'm turning in my PhD. God. If only Tobias were here to see it. I would have liked to hear his take on all of this. For once. Well, that's a bunch of stuff, but it's not anything not not any of the decorative stuff. Yeah, it was actually pretty it was actually pretty pretty soul crushing. Tobias catching catching the axe. Self sacrifice. Right, You're almost to the threshold. Remember, Francis and I have got your back. Once you get that car to the well, we'll keep the gamma ray burst under control for as long as we can. Whatever happens, whatever state you find yourself in, the Octavice will be your safety net. Use it. Get back to us, you hear me? Ready when you are, driver. Bunch of stuff. All right, chat, let's see where we're going. I'll stop. Hey, did it work? What's the energy output? Damn it, Alan, I'm fine. Uh, that light nearly blinded me. C can you read it? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, let me see. Five, 500 kilojoules? Happy, what is this? The future. I call it limb waves. This has got control written all over it, dude. I love games like this, man. Oh my god! I took damage doing that. That is a lot of cathode ray tubes. Uh, Alan, gosh. Is it that time already? So, uh, about leaving on it. I was thinking, how oh, about by Christmas? Yes, maybe. I just need to solve this instability issue. I love to think about leaving the Olympic Peninsula like this. Yeah, there's always more to do. I know. I'm sorry. And I love you for it. I'm just wondering if you will really be able to walk away from all this. It's okay if you can't. You abandoned the world to work here beside me. Fair is fair. Then tech is a world-changing discovery. Your world-changing discovery. Ernest isn't even a consideration. We agreed to have children, and I'm not having them in this hellhole. Good, because I'd love to have eight. <laughs> then I hope you're ready to carry at least half of those yourself. I love you. How progressive. I love you.
I'm gonna need DLC for this game. I'm gonna need alternate endings. I'm gonna need new characters. I'm gonna need new shit in the shop and new parts to put on the car. I'm gonna need new bobbleheads. New air fresheners. New lore. New voice actors. Ironwood, I hope you're listening to me. I need more. Please and thank you. Tobias, the movers are here. Wait, why aren't you packed? I ain't going. The evacuation orders... The evacuation orders can go to hell. We leave and we never see the inside of these walls again. All the things we've been investigating. The ripple, the echoes from the swamp, they'll all fade away. I'm gonna stay and chase down these stories. Wherever they take me. Tobias, I... Stay here. With me. Oh. What in the good omens is happening? I'm gonna need crossovers with the Alan Wake universe. I don't know who Noah's got to get on the horn with to make that happen. I need Jesse from Control to show up in here. I need Alan Wake to appear at some point in the game, or at least in a, in a, in an audio doc. I have a long list of demands. You here to vote? I'm here to deliver the committee's decision. You have been found guilty of doctoring experimental data. This action is in clear violation of artist scientific integrity. The threshold kids. Rendered. You may stay in work, but your clearance will be lowered to level three. So I'm to be a glorified flash cleaner. Take it as a win. You could have been court-martialed instead. Yeah, I'm sure you would have liked that much better. What I like has no bearing on this decision. See you on Monday, Dr. Cook. Oh, wow. There's some spicy going on. What was the doctor, doctor uh, data? I do feel like sometimes I'm concentrated on driving so hard I miss some of the lore. I kind of count on y'all to keep your finger on the pulse for me. What data did Francis doctor? He fudged the numbers so the whole experiment could keep going. Gotcha. Driver, driver, do you read me? Driver, you passed through some sort of opening. We, we managed to hold it steady, but the energy expulsion is growing. We don't have much longer. If you can hear this, you need to get back now. Noted. I'll hold down hey, shift. Look, the gang's back together. Tobias? I, um, uh, I never told you how grateful I was that you stayed behind in the zone with me. Oh. These years. Oh. Uh -huh. My life. Foraging for mushrooms, slogging through swamplands, combing through hours and hours of terrible field recordings. Not a single moment wasted. Thank you. For everything. It was all you. You made me feel capable. Oh. That anything was possible. That I wasn't some second-rate scientist. All my happiness was thanks to you. And I'm afraid... I'm afraid of how I'll survive without you. I'm not. You got this. You always have. Hey, Appy. Alan sends his regards. Hey, he wants to know why you haven't taken his advice yet. <laughs> What in the Nick Offerman, uh, Offerman episode of The Last Driver. of Us is going on? Is that a gun barrel on your dash? No, oh, I'll be damned. Bye. Until next time. Tobias? Tobias! Driver, if you could hear this, we can't keep the well stable for much longer. Wherever you are, come back. I hit shift? I hit shift. There were no upgrades in the shop for my cardiovascular exercise. <laughs> this is as fast as my little legs will carry me. When do we get a station with whey protein? <laughs> And an elliptical machine. When do I get to take anabolic steroids? Ooh. Carmen Van Diego, let's go, baby! I had a 
feeling. Just a little longer. Hold steady, Francis. Keep those limb bases alive. Not even a point zero zero one deviation. You get me? I'm trying. Okay. Not like that. Oh, I see you. Oh, I see you. The anchor field is, is wobbling, popping. Anything we can do to stabilize things on your side. Punching it as hard as I can. I'm not even facing the right way. I got a little dicey, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> We're airborne. Oh my god. Champion! What's going on, dude? Holy shit, Cletus, nice to have you. All in one oh. piece, it looks like. And no sign of the Remnant's energy signature anywhere in that car. Y you're free. But the car's maintained its link to you. Oh. Fascinating. We'll never know how far the Remnant's obsessions wormed into your head, but you should be safe from it getting any worse. In theory. Abby, I'm sorry. You didn't get to talk to Alan again. We managed to pull off the near impossible. And the first thing you do is apologize? Sorry, I, I mean... Um, <laughs> Don't worry, it was Tobias's fault. He hogged the frequency all for himself. Wow! You heard him too. I did. That means I didn't imagine that last conversation with Alan. And you know what else? What? <sighs> that your theory was right. And Tobias called it. All that bluster, and he ended up showing us scientists a thing or two. Those moments we heard, they were all from the past. Being inside that well somehow allowed the remnant to access those imprints and replay them. But Tobias's voice wasn't from the past, it was from somewhere else entirely. But where? And how? No clue. Do me a favor. Once you figure it out, don't bother telling me. <clears throat> oh, Kiba, I'm not interested so. right now. I'm sorry, what? I'll deal with that later. Alan came to tell me goodbye, and that I was forgiven 37 years ago. <laughs> I didn't listen. So now, finally, I'm going to take his advice. I should have left the zone a long time ago. Microphone. But if we solve this, maybe there's a way to speak to him again. I heard what I needed to hear. It only took me 37 years to listen. <laughs> anyway, all that sounds like a young scientist game. It's not for me anymore. Francis, you decide what to do from here. You can carry the torch and continue the research, or get out of this cursed place and find your own way. It's your decision. And driver, you're free now. You can do what you want from here. But if you'll allow an old woman one last hope, stay here with Francis. There's so many more stories for the Zone to tell. And the both of you are young enough to listen. My ears are bad. And I refuse to hear them. I've removed all access restrictions to my systems, Francis. The helm is yours. Uh, wait, I... I don't know if I can do this alone. You're not alone. You've got clear eyes, ears open to the impossible, and the driver. Dr. Cook? Driver? It's been a pleasure. This is Dr. Ophelia Turner. Signing off. Abby? Uh, Abby! Really? Well, oh. I, um... Uh, driver, if you don't mind sticking around with me, Oppie was right. There's still so much of the zone that we still don't know about. But with your help, we can tell those stories. I, I'm no Oppie. But I'll do the best I can. You're no longer bound to the car. But it stayed with you, and will continue to protect you as you travel the zone. Go on, then. As long as you're willing to drive. I'm along for the ride. 
Oh my god! I spent a lot of time with Alex, the founder and creative director. Alex is a real stand-up dude. I like Alex a lot. What a game. What a game. Worth the wait. I gotta, I gotta hand it to Noah, man. He really pulled a rabbit out of the hat, getting me in to talk with those folks. I'm so, I'm so happy to have associated myself with them. Carrie Shao, lead narrative designer and lead writer. What a story. I need DLC like yesterday. Ugh. Yeah. Music and vocal cast, or voice cast. The mains killed it. Good grief. I'm so not ready for this to be done. I'm in there, look, it's my name. Ryan McLaffy Taffy Caps. <laughs> Justin H.C. Justin Conrad. I got a credit. I forgot I was in the credits. <laughs> I forgot I was in the credits. <laughs> I genuinely forgot. That's right, I'm in the credits. I had to clip that. Yeah, Noah had one. Justin had one. They, I forgot they asked me what, what what they wanted my name to show up as in the credits. Oh. What a well put together game. There's still room for improvement and expansion, but for a first effort. This is the first effort from the studio. You know what I mean? This is the first effort from this studio that blows my mind. So good. God, they're going to I think they're going to do good stuff. Like I think they're going to keep doing good stuff. Yeah, that's their first ever game. Like I said, when I went to their studios, their studio was a nice building, but their their office was just folding tables with a bunch of computers on them. Like Alex had a real desk because he's, you know, the founder of the company. Um, but generally speaking, like all the coders and all the programmers just dead ass were working on folding tables with their stuff on top of it. Now that you completed it, how do you feel about the ending and how much info was wrapped up or not wrapped up? I, so, I'm gonna have to go watch a couple of videos. Like I said, the, the one thing that really bit me, br like, broadcasting this, was that I, um... Hey, there's Noah a second time. I'm in the credits. I know, I just missed uh, it, we just came back. Yeah, there's Noah and Ben and Dan Yay. and Tess and uh, Titania. I don't know, Leo, I don't know, oh, I do know Leo. Pacific Drive pinball win. Oh my God, dude, champion. Do you know how good like an Alan Wake or a control yeah. pinball machine would be? Wow. Where like, where like, I don't know how you'd do it cause I'm not a pinball engineer, but can you imagine how good it would be if like the ramps were constantly changing and like parts of the play, play space like moved around? Or if like uh, every time that you activated a, a, a game mode, like, oh, okay, well, normally when you have that game mode activate, you hit these yellow arrows that point at the ramps. But, like, every time that you activate it, like, the targets kind of change so that it's, like, this time it points somewhere else. That'd be crazy. Oh, that'd be so much fun. That'd be Lots of magnets. Lots of, magnets. <laughs> Lots of little pieces that could probably go wrong. Um, yeah, I completely forgot I was in the credits for this game. Yay! As a voice actor. <laughs> the fun! Ugh. Oh. I need more of this game like yesterday. Oh, right, so what I was saying was, uh, to Ice's point, I'm gonna have to go watch a video where somebody who's like the Vati Vidya of this game walks me through the lore, because I feel like I lost chunks of it, because over the radio it's like, you know, driver, this is happening, and I was like, I kinda got stuff going on right now! <laughs> I'm running for my damn life! <laughs> and like, I didn't, I, I never got back to the garage and like replayed stuff for me to hear it, 